they will start to come in these streams, these rivers of flight, and it will be hundreds, it'll be thousands. It's just dazzling. About 13 years ago, I took on a new assignment. There was an opening for a full-time Roman Catholic chaplain at Lawrence General Hospital. After I started at the hospital, I began to notice these streams of pros going by. And then in 2017, it really started to grab my attention. People come up in small groups and larger groups. They had this jaw-dropping experience. They're in awe watching these birds trickle in and then they come in in the thousands and they settle into these trees behind us, loudly vocalizing, and by 45 or 50 minutes after sunset time, regardless of the level of cloud cover, the loud vocalizing goes down, down, down until there's nothing left. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. And so at the end of the day, whether it's been a very heavy day or a lighter day, this has been the most beautiful way to kind of buffer between the world of work of a hospital chaplain and then going home to have dinner with my wife or whatever the evening has in store for us. The goal is to be able to measure the flight trajectory of each individual bird in a large flock. For instance, why don't they bump into one another? Or perhaps maybe they do, we just don't see it. This box here is a repurposed LiDAR system. We have a laser, and then we have some beam shaping optics out here. And then we have two scan mirrors that wiggle around really quickly. Those direct the light out to the scene over there. Radar uses radio waves to measure distance, and we're using light waves to measure distance. The thing that that enables by using light instead of radio waves is much better angular resolution, we call it. It's like instead of big blobs out there, you're seeing pinpoints. You know, if we had one of these systems set up at Logan Airport and you were worried about drones, one or two, or heaven forbid, a whole swarm of drones coming in to do some damage to an aircraft or the people in it, being able to detect that in real time, track all those drones, figure out what they were doing and devise a countermeasure, that's really important. When this roost is, is at its height and the numbers are huge and they're all coming in and they're swirling and then they're settling down for the night, it's just, it's mesmerizing. And I'm as dazzled every time I come here this year as I was back in 2017, 2018 and the winters after that.